Okay, you good? Hey guys, welcome to another video for Bark Industry. My name is Eve, and this is our CEO, Mr. Tony Bark himself. So today, it's bloody cold outside. We've got like six or like eight inches of snow outside. So we're gonna do something a little bit warmer. And we're gonna cover today uh, something that's been, you know, one of the number one questions asked by just about every customer out there. And uh, that is how to fit properly a harness around uh, your dog. So we're gonna show you that. I'm gonna do a quick close up after we're done here. All right, so let's talk about a harness. Why do we sell harnesses and why don't we sell collars? Well, as you guys can tell, uh, Tony here is a French Bulldog and French Bulldogs, just like pugs, English Bulldogs or any dogs with a flat uh, kind of face, smushy face we call them, uh, tend not to breathe very well to begin with. Having a harness is very, very beneficial, not only for their health, but it's also good for training. So you have two anchor points on our harnesses, one at the back, which sits right up here. And then you have one right here at the front, which is at the chest. Now, if you have a regular dog that really doesn't pull, that's just kind of docile, that likes to jog and, you know, do his thing, this is a perfect, you know, anchor for you. However, if you have a puller, this is where our harness really, really will make a difference. So a front range harness like ours will have a clip right at the front, which is a heavy duty clip, and you clip it at the front. So if your dog moves forward as a pull, it will shift their body rotationally. So it's a rotational force, and that will help with the pulling and correcting the pulling for any type of dog. Doesn't matter, you can have a pit bull, you can have a cane corso, which I love. Uh, you can have a little guy like Tony, uh, you can have a chihuahua, it doesn't matter. If you really want to correct a puller, this is one of the absolutely best ways to do it. So if you have a puller, a harness. All right, let's go take a look and show you how to measure. I'm gonna zoom in the camera on Tony and uh, let's show you how to measure properly for our harness, okay? All right guys, so you guys won't get to see me very much, but I'm gonna show you how to measure your dog properly. First things first, how do you do it? Well, I use a tape like this. So. You can do it in inches, you can do it in centimeters. Uh, our website will give you both of the sizes available for you. So first things that you do, first thing that you do is, come on bud. I know. <laughs> you wanna measure the, oh sorry. Come here, come here. You wanna measure the, the uh, widest part of, it, of him, of your dog, which is a chest. So what you do is just go ahead and you take it up this way. And Tony, man, he got chubby. He's like 23 and a half. So a 23 and a half, 24 inches is actually a medium size. So this is what we're gonna go ahead and use for Tony. That's what we got here. So this is a brand new harness and you'll see I haven't done any of the adjustments, okay? So let's move forward and show you the proper fit for a harness. All right guys, so before we do anything else, let's show you some of the key features with our harnesses and why they're so comfortable. So like I showed you before, you have an anchor in the back, an anchor in the front for your leash. And then right here you have a handle so you can use that handle for just about any situation. So uh, if you're at the dark park, you need to pull your dog away uh, in case of danger for whatever reason, or if you, you know, just wanna carry them in or out of the car, this is a great way to uh, restrain your pup very quickly. Now, what makes our cup, you know, what makes our harnesses so comfortable? You have four attachment points, two in the back. So this is the back, which is where the handle is. And you have two adjustment points in the front. And this is exactly what makes it so versatile and what makes our harnesses completely different than any other ones out there. You can adjust it here at the chest. So this is where it goes right through the head. <laughs> Tony, can you look at the camera? Okay, so Babushka over here doesn't really want to look at the camera because he's camera shy. But this is how you fit it through. After that, put it up here and then you attach it here. Well, we have to do adjustments. So what do we do? Go back out. 
and readjust. So you've noticed here, if I'm putting the harness over Tony's head, you know, it's quite loose. I still have quite a bit of room. It needs to be a little bit snugger, right? Um, just depends on your personal feel too. Uh, I like it to be a little bit more snug just for better control. So what you do is here you push and you pull and then you tug right here. Okay. And then same thing here. Push it out a little bit and then readjust accordingly. So now when you pull it over, it should be a nice and snug fit. His ear should be peeled right back like you see here and then that's how you adjust it that's for the neck area okay when it comes out should be quite a snug fit sorry now if you have somebody who's got a much smaller neck than say tony then you can go ahead and pull these buckles right through these hooves it's going to be a tight fit but it will work so don't worry about that all right how to adjust the back very easy same thing so here you know we can just pull this up a little bit oh, so stiff when it's new there we go there we go pull this up just a tad there we go and here i still have a little bit of a slack so i'm just going to go ahead and loosen that up just a little bit more because apparently our CEO has gotten chunky. Good living, right? <laughs> oh, don't look at me like that. I know you need the camera. Okay, so let's give it a try again. So pull it right through, right here. Go ahead and attach it here. And attach it here. Perfect, now we've got a perfectly snug fit. Tony, come here, come here. <laughs> I know, I know. There you go. And that's how a harness should be fit properly. Now you can attach your leash over here if you'd like to, and then attach it to the back um, if you want as well. But here, watch. Oh, there we go. Now as far as uh, sides go, make sure that there's nothing rubbing in, the, in between the armpits and you're good to go. So there you go. This is a perfect fit harness. And now you can put, like I said, your leash here or you can use your seatbelt. Come here. Come here. I know. Sit. Just attach your seatbelt right here. And this goes right into the car uh, seatbelt buckle. Clamp it on. And there you go. They're secured for a trip. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, smash that uh, like button if you liked it. Or just like him, not me, you know whatever uh don't forget to follow us on instagram well tony on instagram at tony bark the frenchie and check out our website at barkindustry.com for all your harness needs we have plenty of colors available and we ship worldwide thank you again for watching we'll see you in the next video cheers say bye this is no he's mad at me <laughs>